My name is Alan Hawes, and this is PSOC 101. Now I'm going to show you another use of the communication blocks, a UART. For this lesson, you will need to install a terminal emulator program. I recommend TerraTerm or PuTTY. Both of these programs can be downloaded from the web for free, and you can find the links on cypress.com slash PSOC 101. This time, create a new project from scratch rather than copying an old project. Find and add the UART to the schematic. Make sure you choose the SCB mode component. The other one that you will see in the catalog uses UDBs, our universal digital blocks for the implementation, instead of the dedicated hardware block. There's nothing wrong with the UDB version, except that the UDBs are precious resources inside of your system. They are very powerful and very flexible blocks and it makes sense to use the SCBs for what they were intended and to preserve the UDBs for more critical uses in your system. The default UART configuration is 115,200 baud, 8 bits, no parity, and one stop bit. In the customizer, rename your component to UART in order to keep the API names short. In the DWR, Pick the appropriate pins to connect the KitProg bridge on the Pioneer kit. If you are using the 042 kit, like I am, then there's no direct connection from the PSOC 4 device to the KitProg bridge device. You need to wire the UART to the KitProg bridge. Once you are done, it should look like this. The cypress.com slash PSOC 101 webpage gives you the details on doing this. Now, Generate the application and write a little bit of firmware. First, you start the component as usual. Then you call the UART putString function with a string argument. Program the kit and launch your terminal emulator. Make sure the terminal program is connected to the correct serial port and has matching UART parameters. When you reset the target, it prints out the string in a terminal program. Once you have this working, verify that you can receive characters as well. Use the UART get character API. You'll find it in the data sheet. Then you can read lowercase characters typed into the terminal and then write them back capitalized. Just ignore type characters that are not in lowercase to keep your application simple. As always, you're welcome to email me at alan underscore hawes at cypress.com. 